کاوش پلاس And that's right. I'd blow up the pipes. I'd blow up the refi. I'd blow up every single inch. There would be nothing left. And you know what? You'll get Exxon to come in there in two months. You ever see these guys, how good they are, the great oil companies? They'll rebuild that sucker brand new. It'll be beautiful. And I'd ring it, and I'd take the oil. That was President, then candidate Trump's strategy for taking out America's enemies back in 2015. ISIS is still a player in the region, so despite all the bombing, he never achieved that goal. But at least he was honest about his intentions, taking the oil. And to be fair to Trump, bombing the stuff out of people is a promise he's managed to keep. There's been a disturbing rise in civilian casualties in Afghanistan since the Trump administration lifted certain restrictions on coalition airstrikes. A report out of Brown University today found in just 2019 alone, US coalition and Afghan Air Force airstrikes killed 700 civilians. That's more than any year since 2001 when the war began. That's a 330% increase in civilian deaths from 2016. That will come as a shock to a lot of Americans, to a lot of our viewers. Did those numbers surprise you? Well, no, because they've been gradually ratcheting up. And in 2017, when the United States decided that it would loosen the rules of engagement, what happened was uh, the number of strikes went up and the amount of ordnance went up, 2017, 2018, 2019. And all of this is in the run-up toward the negotiations that the United States wanted to conclude with the Taliban. So it's no surprise to me that by 2019, the number of civilians killed was uh, greatly increased.